Hi everybody. Um, I just want to say to all of my Muslim friends, Ramadan Mubarak. Um, and this is going to be the June Ipsy review. All right. So June's theme was swim and beauty, and this is the Ipsy bag that we got. Um, back is actually made out of a kind of swimsuit, um, like wetsuit surfer kind of material. So I thought that was really cool given the swim and the beauty theme. Um, the products that I got this month were, I got three of these masks by BioRepublic. I got a concealer brush. I got a eyeshadow crayon. Smashbox photo finish. Uh, I'm sorry, foundation primer. <laughs> And I also got Lip Stain by Liptitude. Alright, so I'm a little lazy today. As you can see, I am in my bedroom. So you guys get to see a little bit of what that looks like. Um, and because I'm lazy today, when I put on the makeup for today's review, I didn't put on foundation. And part of that is because I tried the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So when you go on the Ipsy website and you click on the link for this particular product, it tells you that you can use it as a primer for foundation or you can use it by itself. And what it's supposed to do is it is supposed to reduce the glare so that way um, any sort of blemishes you may have aren't going to be as visible. So you can't really tell because I used this stuff, but I have a couple pimples um, that I'm trying to get rid of, um, but I put this stuff on and immediately it looked like it was reduced. And so I just decided not to put on foundation. Um, it comes out, it's like a, it's kind of like a gel, but it's not sticky. And when you put it on, it's kind of a silky smooth feeling and almost like silicone if you've ever felt it, but more silky um, and less wet, I'm guessing because it's a gel form. It's, I mean, so far, I mean, I think this is really awesome. I've never used a foundation primer before, um, but I really like that I can just put that on if I don't want to put on foundation and any blemishes that I might have are the look of them is dramatically reduced so awesome this is really cool um before i did that i tried one of the masks from bio republic so this is the only one i haven't tried yet is the aloe one um they gave you two other ones uh one is supposed to be a uh, green tea detox one and it's supposed to give you clean supple and refined skin and the other one is a cucumber one and it's supposed to um, kind of wake up your skin and um, make it spring fresh so I tried the green tea detox one at night because normally I do my skincare at night before I go to bed and I wasn't sure what these masks were exactly supposed to do. I didn't, and since that one said it was supposed to clean, I figured I would try it at night. Um, it didn't really do too much, um, in my opinion. It didn't get rid of any blemishes that I had. It just kind of reduced the look of them a little bit. Um, the mask itself is too large for my face. Um, so it doesn't quite fit properly and doesn't stay in place, which is awkward for me. 
It also says that after 15 to 20 minutes, you can peel the mask off and then just rub the excess into your skin. But there's so much excess um, mask goo. I, I mean, I don't know what to call it. Uh, on my face, both times I've tried these masks, that I have to take a towel and like blot it. Um, so t earlier today, I did the cucumber mask because my face, I was kind of tired. I've had migraines the past few days. And so I put this mask on and waited 20 minutes. Um, as I said earlier, I do have a few blemishes on my face. When I took the mask off, the redness was reduced. And because the, the redness was reduced, the um, inflammation that makes them larger and more apparent was reduced. Um, my skin, the pores did look a little bit smaller, um, but it's not, the mask doesn't do a whole awful lot. So what I would say is these masks are good for a morning pick-me-up, like a fresh start to the day kind of mask, or a it's the afternoon and you're tired and you need to do something to wake yourself up kind of spa type feeling. Um, but don't expect an awful lot out of it cleaning-wise and getting rid of acne-wise. Um, so it's it's just really good for freshening up your skin, feeling less tired, that kind of thing. All right. Um, the next thing that I'm going to review is the Tristique. Um, eyeshadow pencil and it's in Venetian gold. So I'm going to open this up so you can actually see it. There we go. So this one actually turns, which is nice. The other um, eye pencils that I've gotten, eyeliner and stuff like that, they don't turn. You have to sharpen them. And as I said in my last video, my sharpener is kind of stupid which I did figure out and fix for the black gel liner, by the way, if anyone was curious. Um, but other than the fact that it spins and therefore is much easier to use, um, I really like this pencil. So I'm not huge on gold. I'm getting into gold a little bit uh, because of my olive skin tone. It's a nice color on me. I'm just not used to gold eyeshadow. So I put this on. It goes on very smooth. I expected it to be um, almost oily as a finish, um, but it's not. It Once you put it on, it feels like you just put on eyeshadow. Um, what's really, really cool, what I thought was really cool about it, is I don't know if you can tell, but it picks up on your natural contours. So it gives a slight smoky eye without you having to go in with different colors and make a smoky eye. And I thought that was awesome because I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty lazy. And unless I really, really want to put a bunch of time into my makeup in the morning. So this is really awesome if you want to just put some stuff on and be out the door in a minute. Um, so yeah. Definitely recommend this. I want to try it in different colors. I saw that Ipsy was advertising different colors for it, and I saw hot pink, and I really want to get some of that. All right. Next, I'm going to review the Liptitude 24-7 Hydrating Lip Stain. This was available in two different colors, and unfortunately, there is absolutely no way to know which color you got. Because on the top, there's no sticker. On the bottom, there's no sticker. There's no sticker anywhere that says what color it is. So, um, it is a hot pink, but when I put it on, it comes out as a deep pink, like a hot pink, almost red kind of color. I really like the color. Um, so here's the comparison between it in the bottle and what it looks like on my lips. 
and looks more pink in the bottle. Um, it says it's a lip stain, which means the color will stay on your lips for a longer period of time than normal lipstick does. Um, normally, what I look for in a lip stain is that it does not come off at all. Um, that was the downside for this lip stain, because if you touch it, it comes off on your finger or whatever it is that you're doing. Does the color stay on your lip? Yes. I have had this color last me a while, at least half a day, I would say. Um, and I was eating and drinking and, you know, whatever. And the color stayed on my lip. But it would also come off on the soda I was drinking out of or the sandwich I was eating, um, which was annoying. So also, you know, when I kissed my husband, his lips turned pink. So um, that's the downside to this one. The color does stay on, which is really fantastic, but it does do the whole getting all over everything thing, which is disappointing, as I already said. All right. Last product I'm going to review. I can't really review. So this is the Glamier uh, Concealer Rush. Um, I mean... It looks like a nice brush. It's soft. Looks like it's well put together. I don't have concealer. So, and because I don't get acne very often, I don't normally use concealer. My dark circles under my eyes aren't dark enough for me to want to use concealer every day. So, if I get some concealer, sure, I'll try it out. Looks like it's nice. But unfortunately, Ipsy, I don't have concealer. I'm not going to go out and buy it just to test this product. All right. So overall, um, I thought that this was a pretty awesome bag, other than slight disappointment and a product I can't use. Um, but yeah, so I am absolutely loving Ipsy all the time. And I'm really, really excited for July's Ipsy Glam Bag. And hopefully I will get my next hair covering tutorial out soon because I've missed a couple months. All right, guys. I hope that you are having fun with Ipsy or whatever makeup product you're using. And thank you for watching my video.